Today's situation is a short daily show all about giving you the facts. Facts on important historical events that occurred on this day and the reason for their importance, scientific discoveries and their impact on humanity, famous birthdays, famous passings, technological discoveries and how they have advanced humanity. Hey, it's all about learning and having fun. So let's get started. Famous holidays and observances for April 14th. Today is Dictionary Day. It is held in honor of Noah Webster. He is considered to have led the creation of the American Dictionary. Noah Webster was a lexicographer, textbook pioneer, English language spelling reformer, political writer, editor, and author. Today is all about expanding your vocabulary. Today is the International Moment of Laughter Day. It was established in 1998 by Dr. Madan Kataria. Its message is simple. Take the positive and powerful emotion that has all the ingredients required for individuals to change themselves and to change the world in a peaceful and positive way. The celebration of World Laughter Day is a positive manifestation for world peace. Go ahead, watch something funny with someone today and share it with others. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe and thank you. Now back to the commentary. It's also National Gardening Day. It is a day of encouragement for people young and old to start their gardening journey. It is custom to plan your gardening years ahead because you will be shaping nature that surrounds you. There is a warning, your thumb might turn green. Now go out and enjoy that sun and some soil. Important historical events for April 14th. In 43 BC, Julius Caesar was assassinated. What led to his assassination? Et tu brut? He was deemed as a tyrant by many. His closest friends saw his decline into tyranny as he became more and more deluded. Those around him saw no end to his madness, beginning the curse for all Caesars. All those who gain power are afraid to lose it. Per historians, there were three straws that were drawn that led to his assassination. The first was where he was formally presented with honors, but Caesar said he deserved less honors. The second was where Caesar accused the tribunes of attempting to create opposition to him and had them removed from office and membership in the Senate. The third and final straw was at a festival where Mark Antony presented Caesar with a diadem upon his head and removed it twice with the crowd cheering both times. It was perceived that it was Caesar's way to see if there was enough support for him to become king. Thus, the senators of Rome felt great concern that he would crown himself the king of Rome and wanted to avoid this. However, after his assassination, Augustus became emperor. Kind of makes you wonder, were these straws real or misinterpreted information for someone else who was pulling the strings? In 1536, the English King Henry VIII expropriated minor monasteries. What does it mean to expropriate? Expropriation is the seizure of private property by a public agency for a purpose deemed to be in the public interest. It may also be used as a penalty for criminal proceedings. Unlike eminent domain, expropriation may also refer to the taking of private property by a private entity authorized by a government to take property in certain situations. In 1792, France declared war on Austria, which started the French Revolutionary Wars. Why did the French Revolutionary Wars occur? Well, after the French Revolution happened and King Louis the Sixth and Marie Antoinette were overthrown, other countries said, you know what, we can do that too. And just like that, Europe was in an uproar and the revolution happened across Europe more people rallied against monarchical structures. Austria said, hey, I'm leaving my troops on your side of the place. The French said, please remove your troops one time. Austria played the, I didn't hear you, what did you say, card? The French said, okay, just give it time, and asked a second time later on. Austria played the, dodge the question card. And the French said, all right, we're going to war, Austria. In 1865, U.S. President Abraham Lincoln was shot in the head by John Wilkes Booth at Ford's Theater in Washington and died one day later. His assassination occurred near the end of the American Civil War. The assassination was part of a larger conspiracy intended by Booth to revive the Confederate cause. 
by eliminating the three most important officials of the U.S. government. Democracy was attempting to establish itself in the newly found free world. As with all things, there is a push and a pull. There are those that want progress, and there are those that want things to remain the same. Which is best to proceed with in an ever-changing landscape that we live in called human society? In 1912, the RMS Titanic hit an iceberg at 11.40 p.m. off Newfoundland. At this point in the film, Jack was still chained to the pole at the time. In 1935, Black Sunday happened. It was a severe dust storm that tore through the U.S. Midwest. It left countless acres of land ravaged and unusable. The Midwest came to be known as the Dust Bowl. It also became a prominent location for some of John Steinbeck's literary works. In 1981, five, Space four, Shuttle Columbia three, one two, returned to Earth on one. this day. Space Shuttle Booster Columbia ignition, launched on April 12, 1981, and returned on April 14, having traveled 54.5 hours and orbited the Earth 36 times. Astronauts John W. Young and Robert L. Crippen were aboard the successful flight. In 2003, the Human Genome Project was completed, with 99% of the human genome sequenced to an accuracy of 99.99%. The Human Genome Project was a 13-year publicly funded international scientific research project with the goal of determining the base pairs that make up human DNA. It is meant to map all of the genes of the human genome from a physical and functional standpoint. Fun facts for April 14. In 1894, the first public showing of Thomas Edison's kinetoscope came to pass. It was a moving picture. In the year 2000, Metallica filed a lawsuit against peer-to-peer -peer sharing phenomenon Napster. This lawsuit eventually led the movement against file sharing programs. Today, they come in the form of torrents. Torrents are a tricky area to visit on the web as only skilled people should ever delve into that territory, seeing as how many torrents are vessels for all types of malware that can harm your computer, should it not have sufficient antivirus or access to a VPN. In 2002, the 66th U.S. Masters Tournament at the Augusta National Grand Championship was played. Tiger Woods became the third player to claim back-to-back -back Masters, three strokes ahead of Retief Goosen of South Africa. On this day, archaeologists announced their findings at Loemqui in Kenya, which was 3.3 million year old stone tools, the oldest ever discovered and which predate the earliest humans. This is one of the events that has started causing a paradigm shift in the archaeological community especially with more and more archaeologists challenging prior thoughts of pre-civilizations and more and more evidence challenging the infamous Clovis First Doctrine taught to archaeologists. There is more evidence every year to suggest there is a much larger unexplored part of human civilization that predates most of our original beliefs about how old human civilization really is. Famous birthdays for April 14. In 1738, William Cavendish Bentnick was born. He was Duke of Portland. He was a prime minister twice with a record of 24 years between each term of office. He oversaw the signing of the Treaty of Paris and the ending of the American Revolutionary War. In 1889, Arnold J. Toynbee was born. He was an economic historian noted for his social commitment. He is highly studied as he produced large numbers of papers and presentations. He wrote a 12-volume series called A Study of History. It studied the rise and fall of 26 civilizations and concluded that how they responded to challenges was key to their success or failure. Studying the history of humanity teaches us not to repeat the same mistakes. Why is this important? A human only has so many years to live his life on Earth. A human life is difficult, especially with all the current sociological constructs that surround us on a global scale. 
So if life is difficult to traverse already, because of the intricacies of human interactions, then it is important to not waste time on Earth, seeing as how we only get a small portion of it, while we have sentience, the feeling of being alive. So if we have examples of what not to do from the past to prolong human existence, why would we not use it? I mean, all we do is just gain from it and do better, which should be everyone's goal to, to be a better version of themselves. This has been today's situation. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.